Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna explain 4D planning with Syncrop Pro. So this is a little bit about myself. My name is Hilal Şansoy. I'm orig originally from Turkey. I studied in Turkey and USA and work in, again, Turkey, Kuwait and UK so far. And I mostly work as a planning engineer in different kind of projects from one to 500 million pound. So today we will discuss first of all uh, what is 4D planning, why we should use 4D and how we can use it effectively. And in the second part, I'll try to explain how we can do it, how we can use 4D by using Synchro Pro. And in the third part, again, I'm going to explain how we can synchronize it, you know, when, uh, when we update our program and the model, and then how we can create an animation and export it. So let's start with the first part. First of all, what is 4D planning? So the fourth dimension is time. So you have the 3D model and when you combine the 3D model with time, it is 4D. So in other words, it is a, a schedule created by linking each activity on a program to each object in a 3D model, which allows you to visualize the sequence of works. So why we should use 4D? So it saves time and money. It helps to see out of sequence activities. So this is actually one of my favorite because in the program where you are just creating the program, uh, you can you know put your links etc. But sometimes it's hard to you know visualize it in your mind and maybe you have a wrong link uh, between the activities, but it's hard to you know see it. Uh, without merging it with the 3D model. So 4D really helps you that out of seconds activities. And it's also easy for a site team to understand the program because when you usually submit, uh, I don't know, like 10 pages or 20 pages of program, they usually you know, don't want to go through it. But if they uh, see the model and you know, like how the activities are like ongoing, then definitely it allows them to understand the sequence of works easily. And it's impossible to miss the scope. You know, uh, what you are building is what you have in model, right? In the program, if you have like all the activities to be done, then it, and link them to the related objects in the model, um, then you know that you're not missing anything in the, um, in the project. So you have all the scope is included um, in your in your program. Uh, it's easy to, to create what if scenarios. Uh, again, like you can do it in other planning softwares as well, but it is better to see it, like visualize it and see you know how the work seconds may change with these scenarios. So again, it's a better way of understanding the scenario in, in 4D. In other planning softwares, you can create what-if scenario, but you will be able to see kind of the only the changes in the end date. But in this one, actually, you can just move the uh, time slice and you can see the you know where the project will be in a specific time. So it's I think much easier to check the what-if scenarios in 4D. So it helps you to visualize logistic plan as well. For example, you have a large equipment on site, right? And you cannot work on, the, on that area until that equipment is moved. So in the program, uh, it's hard to like coordinate it, but when you see it on 4D, it, you, you are sure like you cannot work in that area. You can see that there is an equipment there. So it's much easier if you, if you include the logistic plan in 4D as well. So how we can use it effectively? Um, first of all, you need to work with the design team. This is really uh, important. And the, the, ideally, the structure of the model should be equal to the detail of the program, right? So whatever you have in the model, you need to have an activity in the program so you can match them and you know, be sure that you, you have all the scope uh, in your program. Uh, you should definitely have a regular meeting with the site teams because 
you know, if you do it yourself, it doesn't mean anything. You just need to uh, share it with the site team, go through it and explain, you know, how the sequence, you don't even need to explain, I think they will be able to see anyway, but uh, you can coordinate, you know, those logistic changes, how you can um, move, um, you know, the equipment, etc., storage area. So these are really like important to, um, to work in the in the construction so definitely you can implement health and safety and my favorite one is the using color coding so in synchro and other for the um, softwares you will be able to um, put different colors for different phases or to show progress it's up to your um, imaginary <laughs> so for example if you want to use it for phases you can show the whole um, project, whole model, and you know, for the you can put different colors for design. For example, you can say, okay, the blue ones are in the design uh, phases currently, the orange ones are currently we are procurement, and the purple ones are already installed on site. So this re it is really like easy to understand with the color coding. Or you can choose like different option to show progress, for example, um, you can so show uh, in progress activities in yellow or, you know, like scheduled for the next two weeks is uh, blue or scheduled uh, over the two weeks is purple. And once you install it, it's green, for example. So you can use, you know, like different, different types uh, to use like color, color coding.